Hey there, folks. So welcome to another uh, live stream. And this time I have, very cool, a brand new TRS-80 game. A physical copy, nonetheless. Uh, so someone made a TRS-80 game in 2021. Um, and it's called Roundup. And uh, this, the packaging is really cool because these TRS-80 games used to come in these plastic bags. Um, and he, the guy basically wrote Radio Shack on it as if, like, Radio Shack made the game, which it didn't. And it comes on a cassette tape, and the cassette tape basically looks like the ones that Radio Shack used to make for their games. Uh, and so it's, it's really, like, slick packaging in terms of, like, nostalgia for what, what these games used to, used to come and used to look like. And I went ahead and loaded up the cassette, have this game all ready to go. And uh, it's similar to, like, uh, Stampede. Hey, Ryan, how's it going? Good to see you, man. It's similar to Stampede by Activision, you'll see in a second. But let's uh, check it out. Got this thing. Uh, hold on. Let me just put the cassette tape in. And we'll load it up and check the game out. Put play on the cassette recorder. Type in, okay, system. It's a binary game. Stampede is a classic 2600 game, Ryan says. And yes, it sure is. I don't, I don't get it. I, I never understand. Like, again, like I have the same problem every time. When I do these streams, like it starts off like a whole bunch of people, and then it goes out to one or zero, and then it goes up again. I never understand like what the deal is. I always feel like people came in here and they're like, "Oh, I thought we were gonna do like you know NES." It's like, what's this, what's this thing? You know, like <laughs> what the hell are you doing, man? <laughs> yes, yeah, this is so. This is this is basically a Stampede clone, as far as I can tell. Um, but I mean, Tierra City was not built for this type of game, so it's pretty impressive uh, feat. Um, and actually. The game was made by this guy um, who runs the TRSA Trash Talk podcast, or one of the guys who runs it, which is a pretty cool podcast. If you've never heard, of, if you're a TRSA fan, you've never heard of TRSA Trash Talk, you should check it out. Here's actually like a business card for the podcast they put in the package, and um, if you want to get a physical copy of this game, you can get it on eBay. That's where I found it. Apparently, this is the second game this guy wrote. I need to go hunt down the first game, and. Uh, <laughs> right, says they come in thinking it's your only fans. Yeah, maybe. I need to hunt down the figure out what the first game is and hunt it down. But right now, this game at least is available on eBay. Physical copy is like twenty bucks, and they also give you a downloadable version as well. So if you just want to download it and play it in an emulator, you can do that too. So whatever you prefer. And here it's loaded, and we get this really nice uh, logo. Um, you know, for TRS eighty standards, this is pretty awesome. I got Diet Dr. Pepper tonight, Ryan, just in case you're wondering. And uh, let's see if I can go ahead and start the game. Here we go. So basically, you see it's like Stampede. Um, it starts off pretty slow. Let me get the arrow out of the way. I already like messed up here. Oh, okay. I, I hit him, so I didn't lose completely. So the way he works is these... these Dr. Pepper, I, I half approve. <laughs> this cows, you can like uh, bump them forward in case you can't lasso them. And it speeds up as it goes. <laughs> Ryan says, like Stampede? You mean Stampede. Yeah, it's basically Stampede. I don't know if it's any different or not, but, you know, obviously the graphics, you know, are not wonderful, but it speeds up as it goes, but right now all these cows are, are like, running at different speeds. You can bump them forward if you... But you can't bump those those steers forward. <clears throat> so if you hit a steer, you basically, like, lose, essentially. You don't lose, but you, like, you get stunned, and you get much more points for the steers also. Oh, man. I'm already, like, blowing it here. Oh, I got that the last minute there. Okay, good. It's hard to talk and also play these games at the same time. There we go. Yeah, so the ones that move fast are tough to, to deal with, and, and they go faster and faster. And again, these steers, you cannot bump them. So the ones, that, the ones that, the regular cows, you can bump them to get yourself more time, but the steers you can't bump, they're also worth more points. So I have two stars at the top right. I think that means, like, I have two lives, basically. And also those skulls, if you hit them, you also get stunned, which is not good. I mean, I, could, I would show it to you, but I'll get, I'll die, so I don't want it to happen right now. Or I may do by accident anyway. But as you go further in the game, it gets more um, hectic. And I'll, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely not going to play this game perfectly. I can't move left or right either. You can only move up and down. You get a lot of points for those steers. Hey, Peter! How's it going? How's it going, man? I finally catch you live streaming. It's my game. So 
So welcome to the creator of the game. And I was just saying before, first of all, I gave us a, a sound a shout out to the, the uh, Trash Talk podcast. And second of all, I was saying that in the packaging it says that this is your second game. So I don't know what your first game is. Maybe you can tell us here what your first game is, whether that game is still available for purchase. Oops. <laughs> Because uh, I would like to, to get it if it, it is available. As long as I get a physical copy, I'm in. Come on. This is, this is, it gets hard, you know. It's not like, it looks easy in the beginning, but it gets sort of hard. Hey, Jeremy, how you doing, man? Gamers Grotto, welcome. Breakdown, it's a free download. Okay, I'll check it out. No physical version of that? I was just uh, basically praising your your physical version. Uh, <coughs> I would show it again, except I can't while I'm playing. <laughs> I'll get killed for sure. Whoops! What did I do? Oh, I got oh, I got a thousand points, so I got an extra life. I think I had to bump that guy. So breakdown is that like breakout or oh no? Ah! <laughs> is breakdown like breakout or, or what's what is that? Maybe Breakdown 2 will have some packaging. Okay, that sounds good. Man, this is getting a little crowded here. So, Ryan, how does this compare to uh, 2600 version in your mind? Breakout and Tetris. Okay. Oh, oops, I almost got like a, tried to get a skull there. <laughs> this is getting busy. It's getting very busy. See how long I can actually survive this. Oh no. Ah! <laughs> oh my goodness. It's getting a little frank frantic here. <laughs> so, Ryan, you're that Atari 2600 expert, so tell us how you think this compares. Oh no, 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 no! <laughs> The guy at the bottom is sure like fast. The graphics lower, of course, but gameplay looks awesome. Yeah, I mean the gameplay. Ah. The gameplay is pretty. I mean, it's really like smooth for the. I mean, for TRS80, it's going more, more, more fast as I go along here. It's like speeding up big time. I don't. I haven't really played Stampede in like forever, so I don't. I don't remember like if it was this fast. I mean, I don't remember it being this fast, but it probably was. Oh my goodness. Is there a way to win this game, Peter? <laughs> or I just go on until I have a heart attack? Oh no. I feel like I'm going to have a heart attack soon. <laughs> I guess I'm at the point where it's like hard to talk. Oh man. No, 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 no! Oh no! Oh god! Oh, it all fell apart! It all fell apart! <laughs> I just hit one cactus and that was it! Oh my goodness. Oh no. I lost like, all my lives in one second. No, no, no! <laughs> that was pretty fun. <laughs> game over. <laughs> what do you guys say here? Peter says, damn, you're pretty good. That was the first game I ever played. What's what what's what's what score looks like a good score, right, Peter? Peter Satinsky is on, he's the creator of this game. So let's give him a hand for programming this. Pretty awesome for TRS80. What's what's I got 2520 on my first game, and I was doing pretty well until like it all it all fell apart. I, I you know, I would like to I mean like most games like this, when you die, when you mess up, like it'll reset you know like the speed or the board or something like that to give you a chance to recover. But this one, as soon as I lost one, I was like the, the whole, <laughs> The flooded cows all just came, and I was I was done. I couldn't recover from that. So Ryan says, I want to get this. Scott says this game is awesome. And uh, again, there's a physical copy of this game for all collectors. You can get this physical copy. I, I want to say it was like $20 plus shipping, Peter. Um, correct me if that's wrong. Go on eBay, you can get this game, and it comes with also a personal download link that you can download your own copy for your emulator if you don't actually have a, a TRS-80. So uh, that is uh, that is Roundup, and I'm going to play this again. What I, what I typically do on these TRS-80 streams is I do, um, hey Jay, how you doing, man? 
what I typically do is I play the game one time, and then I go and, and show off another issue of Sea Load Magazine. So I'm going to do that now, and then I'll come back and play some more Roundup. I need a little break, like, in the middle. <laughs> like, I, my heart is, like, racing right now from playing that game. 1999, Peter says, disc or cassette. Does the does the disc version, this isn't the cassette version, does the disc version also have the sound, or only the cassette version? That was that was my, I think that's why I ordered the cassette version, because I thought maybe the disc didn't have the sound, but maybe I'm mistaken with something else. Ryan says, be right back. He's running to eBay right now to, to buy a copy, I'm pretty sure. All right, so let's 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 put this put this away for one second. I'm just going to take a, a palate cleanse here with another Sea Load magazine. So while while we do that, you guys could all talk about uh, what you thought of the game. Let me uh, go here, Sea Load. Okay, I'm going to load up this thing. Okay, let's reboot. Y yes. Disc is only for M oh, Model Three and Model Four. All right, so if you have a Model One, you gotta use, gotta get the cassette anyway. Good to know. But so, so oh wait, I forgot to press. Oh, let's go. There we go. So, so it does have sound the disc version, but it's only for Model Three and Model Four. Scott says, Peter, does everyone th think you know the secret to beat the game, or assume you're great at it because you designed it? That's a good question. I'm curious what Peter says about that. Also, Peter, like I don't, I do want to know, like. Uh, what uh, is a good high score for this? So, like, I should I should know how far to push myself. And Scott says also, what's the secret to being the game, and are you great at this game? Um, by the way, before I miss some, Scott said this is like Castlevania, but with cows. I'm not sure why you said that. Is oh, because the whip? <laughs> it's supposed to be a lasso. <laughs> and Gamers Grotto said this is much better than Simon's Quest. Jay says six million. Now, I don't think six million is happening on this. So here is the uh, the August 1978 issue of Sea Load Magazine. This is the this is the last the first six I don't have physical copies of. After that, I have physical copies of most of them. So this is the last one I had to download. The whip reminded me of a last. No, it's the last one reminded you of a whip. You mean? Yeah, no, Jay. I want to hear Peter's uh, thoughts on the high score, not your thoughts, because there's no chance of getting six million points. I don't know what this. So this is the cover of the, of the magazine. I'm, I'm not sure what it's doing here. It's making a picture or something. I don't know if it's a picture of a solar system or a belly button or what they're doing here. But it made this nice picture. It looks like a, some kind of orbit. But I don't know what it's supposed to be, honestly. And uh, it goes for a little bit longer. And then it says something about copyright I believe because I did this once before no secret 2500 is very respectable alright that's good to know you can't win it goes till you lose alright so I'll, I'll try it again afterwards and see if I can do better so that was the cover of, the, of C Load and let's put in the first uh, game on this issue let's load that up so Scott Ryan Jeremy, are you guys all ordering copies right now? I assume that's where you all went. Uh, is to order copies of the game. I mean, I, I, like I said, I haven't played the the Activision version in a while, but I, it's, I mean, like, it's basically the same thing, but like, it's and it's very fast paced and fast moving for the TRS eighty, which is pretty impressive. Actually, this game here, which you'll see in a second, is basically broken because it does the response time is not quick enough, at least from what I can tell. Something is broken in either the game or the emulator. But uh, in that game, I just played Roundup, this game here. I mean, that was very responsive. I only lost because I, I, I made a mistake. I, I, I screwed up, basically. Gamers Grotto says, I don't own a TRSA or a TRSA emulator. Well, you know, we could definitely rectify that. We're def I'm <laughs> the one I'm playing right now, using right now, is, is basically Trialware. Alright, run. Welcome to TRSA Pinball. Do you want instructions? Jay says, what I like about it is how Peter made a real effort to package and sell the game like it was back in the old days. Totally, totally agree. I mean, the nostalgia for this is just, like, amazing. I mean, I have a whole bunch of other original games around here. Uh, let me just let me just pull one out quickly just so you guys can see. Hold on a second. Here's just an example so this is this is in the Hall of the Mountain King. I mean, this is how these games came back in the day. It's you know it's a plastic bag. 
and it's you know Radio Shack published it with their logo over there. Then there's like there's a cassette tape. I mean, this is the exact same thing. I mean, it's really freaking awesome, honestly. Like, I just I just love yeah, that's a good song too. <laughs> Peter says TRS A G P is a great and free emulator. Okay, cool. I'm using TRS thirty two. Do you want instructions? Yes. A, a tar so it's pinball, it says, but they're lying. A target area will be drawn across the top of the screen. Points are scored by hitting the target area where the ball bounces off the paddle. Move the paddle left by hitting the backspace key. Move it right by hitting the space bar, so sort of weird keys. Use the backspace to stop the paddle to be right, and the space key to stop the paddle to be left. There'll be 10 balls with bonus for high scores, and enter when you're ready. Okay, here we go. Now you'll see very quickly, this is not pinball. They lie, basically. Essentially, it's breakout, but it's a version of breakout that like I said before, it appears to be broken in some way. Either, like, they didn't program it properly or just the emulator can't handle it, but I... I the emulator has handled... A, this emulator has been pretty rock solid for me for a lot of things. I really have to suspect it's the programming, the way they did the interrupts. It just doesn't work. Or the input routines. Great song again. <laughs> but yeah, it also takes forever to freaking, like, do this. Like, to load this up. Alright, so now it started. So... The problem is, first of all, I can't control the speed of the paddle at all, and it's very unresponsive. Like, I hit right, and it took forever to start going right. I hit left now, and it just stopped. It seems like when you hit right, it goes sometimes, and it doesn't, and it goes right away. And hit left, you have to hit it twice to go. It's like, and, and there's no way, and I can't move it faster, so there's no way to, like, oh my god. Move! Move! Yeah, I'm hitting space for like a hundred times, and it's not moving. There's something broken about this game. <laughs> it just doesn't work. I mean, it should work, but look, even if I, even if it was it wasn't broken, there's no way I could get that ball. It's like, come on! I made the space bar a hundred times and it's not going. All right, so this game was basically broken, um, and it, it sucks. I mean, unfortunately, so that was this that was a dud. The next program is not even a game. It's it's a mortgage calculator, so we're not going to look at that one. And then this third game here, or this, the third program, or is, is a game, so we'll put that one on quickly. Yeah, Ryan, right, I don't know. I had, when I, my, my TR Sandy, when I had it, uh, you know, as a kid, I had some games that were actually called Breakout, and they were Breakout, they're much better than this one. Um, so I don't know what the deal is with that specifically, but, um, yeah, um, I still have these other games, these other like homebrew TRS-80 games that I, that I need to try, which I haven't, I haven't like tried yet. Um, Actual Reality by that same guy who made that other game. We played Rockstar, and then War Games, which is on disc. And this game apparently comes with a bunch of stuff, so I have to try this as well. But first things first, one thing at a time. Right now we are playing. Uh, we will be playing again. Uh, Roundup after I finish with the C-Load thing. And actually, there's there's at least one good game on here, so it's worth sticking around and checking it out. I still think it's really cool they had this magazine back in the day that had like, basically stuff on disc. Now, I don't know what the deal is with this because this was on a different copy of the game, if you remember. And I'm not going to play it because a different issue had the same game, and therefore I'm not going to play it again. I just wanted to show you. I don't know if there's something wrong with the archive online and, and both of them have the same game by accident, but this is that game where you're supposed to fly over the, the mountain and it's basically impossible. At least, I mean, I can't figure it out. Um, and basically, I just I just will die every time. Um, I run out of fuel or whatever, so I'm out, I'll, I'll play it, but like, I don't really even understand how this works, honestly. <laughs> I'll play it one time just 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 to see how how bad I stink. I think like now I'm I'm messing up already. Uh, let's see three vertical thrust negative ten. So far this is like the closest I've ever come to being close to this game. Even I'm actually haven't got out to the radiation dome. That's pretty impressive. All right vertical thrust horizontal thrust three. Vertical thrust zero. Uh, I better pull back the horizontal thrust quite a bit there. Horizontal thrust uh, negative ten. Vertical thrust uh, uh, one. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Horizontal thrust negative five. Vertical thrust two. All right, good. I'm, I'm actually landing in the right place. 
What is my speed have to be not to crash? I don't know. I mean, this is definitely the by far the closest I've ever come to slightly beating this game. Vertical thrust five. Horizontal thrust zero. Vertical thrust two. Okay. I mean, if I don't die, it's amazing. Oh man, I'm almost out of fuel. <laughs> I'm gonna die from that. What? <laughs> Come on! What the heck? All right, this I, I hate these games with the limited resources where you got. I mean, I just no way in hell. All right, the hell with that. Let's go for the last game on this thing, which is the best one in my opinion. Oh my god! I, I thought I was getting so close. I, I didn't realize my oxygen's gonna run out too. Uh, what are you guys saying here? Scott says, Stewie's yet to master his vertical thrust, or my horizontal thrust, for that matter. Ryan says, I'm kind of new to the world of TRS-80, but I love these graphics. I love Game Boy. This is like the black and white version. Yeah, you know, Ryan, you said the other day you liked those old DOS games. I mean, this is even, like, earlier than that. I mean, this is like, they had to work within real constraints, and, and I, honestly, they got really good games um, on the TRS-80, like, given the fact that it wasn't built for graphics at all. I mean, there's no color... It wasn't designed for graphics. It was designed for text. They still managed to put a lot of really good games on it. And the fact that we can you know, put something like this out today is, is pretty impressive, too. I mean, obviously, it's probably easier to make the game now than it was to make it then because you have better development tools and whatnot. But still. Ryan says, Is old TRC computers still function? And Jay says, Indeed, they do. Too much vertical thrust will expend your fuel. All right. This is the last game here. In this simulation, you'll be trying to destroy a fleet of enemy spaceships before running out of rockets. When a ship's exactly the center of the target, fire at it pressing the clear key. There are ships and rockets depending on your experience as a fighter pilot and your confidence and your own abilities. Enemy ships come better at taking evasive action as the simulation progresses. How many years have I been a fighter pilot? Uh, zero. Oh, whoops. Zero. <laughs> How many ships can I destroy? I don't know. Five. You have 49 rockets available. Good luck. So basically, this is like a Star Wars game. Um... You can't move or do anything. You gotta just wait for the ship to go in your sights. It reminds you a little bit of like the the Millennium Falcon battle, like in the original Star Wars, you know, Episode Four, as they call it now, um, where you know Luke and Han were in the, the the turrets of the Millennium Falcon. I mean, they were spinning around in that one. They actually could move, but basically, they're trying to wait for them to get in their sights. Or maybe this is maybe you're Darth Vader, and you're flying down the Death Star trench, and you're trying to kill the Rebel pilots. I'm not really sure, but they look like Tie Fighters. It, it, it has to be completely dead center for you to hit. Um, and another thing about this game, which is really interesting, is that this game was is also on the Radio Shack Level One Game Pack, which also came out in 1978. And it doesn't credit like Sea Load Magazine or anything like that. So I don't know what happened there. Like, did Radio Shack borrow it, quote unquote, from Sea Load, or did the same guy sell it to both Sea Load and Radio Shack? It's basically the same exact game. I did a video on it a long time ago with a different emulator that was running too slow, and it, the game was like about half the speed as it is here. And it was still a lot of fun even at half speed, but I, I didn't realize it was it was you know, too slow, basically. But, you know, it, it's, a fu it's a fun game. I mean, like, if I had this game back in the day, which I, I don't think I did, I don't remember, I mean, I must have had it, because I must have had the, the level one game pack, but I don't remember playing it ever. I mean, it, it's fun. It's not, like, very complicated. It's not, like, extremely... Uh, I mean, like for a while, I don't have to touch anything at all, and I'm only using one key. It's probably a good uh, game for someone with you know disabilities. Who could, and I'm wasting all my rockets here. And I don't want to call it rockets. Also, why is it just like bullets or something? But it has to be like literally right in the middle, and, and they only stay in the middle for a second. So if you if you shoot too late, oh, come on. Unless you keep wasting your rockets, like I was doing before. Get over there. Doo -doo -doo. I have you now. <laughs> what? Yahoo! <laughs> Come on. I want to get this one guy. Oh my gosh. Come on. Get him. Man, he's hard to get. He's played. Damn! There we go. Finally. <laughs> um, Ryan's checking eBay now. I guess he's checking for this, uh, for the, for the, for the uh, roundup game. I'll, I'll finish the game because I want to see if it gives me a rating or something. But basically, this is the same game that's on the, the level 1 games pack. Oh, Ryan is buying is actually buying a TRS-80. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, 
if you get it to your city now, you probably get like a Model Three or a Model Four, um, which basically is like a a all in one um, unit that has like the screen and the keyboard and the CPU and two disk drives, essentially for most models. It costs like twenty five hundred dollars back in the day. Nowadays, probably like you know fifty to hundred dollars, but like they're heavy to ship. That's the only problem. So if you can find one that's like local to you, you're much better off. If you want to actually buy a TRS eighty, any of the TRS eighty experts on the stream right now. So Peter, if you're still here, or Jay, if you have any uh, tips. Oh, I just I destroyed the last enemy ship. I guess it's a typo. Congratulations. You want to run another simulation? No. All right. Let's 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 do roundup again. The main event for this stream. And let's see if I can beat my previous high score. I doubt I'll be able to, but I'm going to try it. Round up. Let's uh, reboot this thing. Again, it's a binary program, so you got to load it like this. Round up. I really like, by the way, the uh, the little title um, little title screen that comes up when you, after you you know it's basically like an image of the cover. It's pretty cool. So how's everyone doing today while this thing loads? How is life out in the rest of the world outside of the uh, the New York, New Jersey area, which I'm in? I enjoy doing these uh, classic games. I, I really, I've, I've, I'm planning on doing a whole bunch more TRS-80 stuff um, in the near future on the streams. I'm... Jay says, join the TRSA Facebook group or join the monthly trash talk for purchasing a computer. Oh, that's a good idea. Jay, can you, can you tell me, like, you know, maybe you can tell... I, I'm, I don't know if you want to type this, but I'm really curious how that trash talk thing got started because it's really interesting how there's, like, all these people on that podcast who are doing, um, like, um, like all, these, all of them have their pet projects, basically. They're all building stuff, and... It's really cool. Like, I mean, how did that community get started? How long has it been going on? Jason's asked Peter. Well, Peter, Peter is here too. So, yeah, Peter, if you want to answer that question, you know, please. Uh, maybe we can do like even an interview at some point. And yeah, Ryan asked, they play the TRC 100 portable version? Yeah, no, they do not. So to round up, copyright 2021 by Pisky. <laughs> I don't know how you pronounce that. Pisky Software Development Inc. Let's see if I can do this again without uh, losing my mind. And I like the sound, by the way. You guys can hear the sound, right? It's like a little horse riding sound, and then when I get stuff, there's music. You guys can all hear that, correct? It's coming through properly in the in the in the, uh, in the stream. The sound is great. Okay, good to hear. Thank you, Gamers Grotto. Oops. Those steers give you a lot of points, but they're also like they're dangerous because you can't hit them. So if you if you miss one, you know you, there's no way to push it forward. Basically, you saw what happened when I hit something before is I basically lost the game. So you got to really be looking across the whole screen and identifying like how fast they're all moving. Sometimes there's some, one that comes out from the... I mean, really, the ones that look like they're moving fast are the ones that are moving slowest, because I'm riding and I'm catching up to them faster. But the bottom line is, sometimes one come like, shooting through the screen really fast, and you, and you don't... If you don't move, like, quickly, you just... There's no way to get it. And obviously, it takes time to move up and down, also. So these are the, the different uh, elements of, this, of the difficulty here. Like, right now, there's one coming, streaking at me there. Luckily, I, my rope is pretty uh, flexible, essentially. Like that, I, I can get. Oh shoot, shoot! I tried to lasso cactus again. I, I keep doing that. I gotta, make, I gotta not make that mistake again. That's what messed me up last time. Peter says the podcast started in 2016. We were starting the annual live show. Sorry, right, I'm trying to read it, and also play it at the same time. And now we're doing a monthly live show. Well, I'm impressed that you have enough like material to do a monthly show. I mean, that means that there's a lot of people that really are doing stuff with the TRS-80. It's a skull, not a cat. Yeah, it is a skull. I'm just, I'm just like, 
it's hard for me to talk properly when I'm playing this game at the same time, you realize. So, like, my words are getting a little bit slurred. I knew, I knew it was a skull. <laughs> Just, like, again, when, you, when your, like, brain is mostly occupied lassoing calves, it's hard to say the right words sometimes. No, honestly, like, I'm amazed I can even, like, talk at all. And, re and reading is a challenge, too. The next reason around, the calves will poop, <laughs> and you'll ride over it, your horse will slide and die. Yeah, good idea. That, that was a nice thing there, too. Just, like, at the time, it came in a time that I wasn't, like, really prepared for it. That little bonus thing. And then it freezes you for a second. So you sort of lose your, you lose your rhythm a little bit. Don't do it for the Tandy Assembly. <laughs> I miss Radio Shack. Although, like, I mean, the truth is, like, they were, they've been like, oh my god, now I'm screwed. I can't. I was, I, I, I just, I, sh I should just let it go because there was no way for me to get that one. And I, but basically, I mean, I, I mean, I actually, I didn't, I didn't do anything. I didn't screw myself doubly. I just, like, screwed myself once. But there was absolutely no way for me to get that. Oh no. I lost. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, I'm gonna try again. I I, I feel like I had a bad uh, a bad run of luck there at the end, so I'm, I'm gonna try it again. I got greedy. Yeah, I should I should just left that let that bull go because there was no way I could, the steer because there's no way I could get it. All right, let me try that again. What do you guys think in the meantime? Uh, the cactus is a good idea for the next version. The last time Stu's game was an arcade game, we damn near had a heart attack. All right, how do I continue? How do I start a new game? Oh, there we go. Okay, just press the, just press the space bar again. It's like it's it's luck. So sometimes you get like a a bad run of luck. Like there was no way for me to get that thing, and then it just sort of messed me up. Once once you get messed up and you lose your rhythm, I think you just it's very hard to recover. I love a TRSA fishing derby game. Ryan says, "How much would you love it? Love it enough to finance it? <laughs> if you're willing to pay uh, you know, Peter to build it, I'm sure he'd do that for you." Yeah, I mean, I gotta tell you, like, in terms of, like, originality, obviously this game doesn't get a lot of points for originality because it's a copy of an existing game. But in terms of gameplay, in terms of, you know, programming, I'm very impressed with this. I mean, this is this is for sure one of the best games I've ever played on the TRS-80. I mean, in terms of an action game. I mean, you, obviously you can't compare it to, like, something like Zork or, you know, something like that. But in terms of an action game... I'm pretty sure it's one of the best games I've ever played because the TRC was not really built for this type of game. And I don't know how, how easy or hard it was to make it. I mean, Peter, you can comment on that, but it certainly was not the type of game you, you were seeing. It reminds me of the Big Five games in the sense that those those are the games that typically push the TRC to its limits from an arcade perspective. In terms of, like, you know, I mean, this is, this is nice. There's, like, um, pretty smooth scrolling... It's not really scrolling. It's like it's sort of tricks, but it it looks like it. It's it's very slick. It's very well done. So if I was actually reviewing this game, which I probably will do at some point in the future, I would definitely give it a good score. And it's definitely I'll tell you something. It's definitely worth twenty bucks. That's for sure. Some of these other like homebrew titles, they like they're fifty bucks or more. You know, like then it's questionable. Jake says I should try Kyle Watson's Vicious Vipers. I never heard of that. See, part of my thing is because I'm a collector, I tend to be a little snobby about like non-physical games. Like, there's so many of them out there that like it's like why should I buy your or why should I even play your game if I have so many physical games still to play? But if you're telling me it's one of the best games available on the system, then maybe I should try it out. Kyle Wadston. Okay, good to know. This is pretty intense. And it gets more intense, obviously, right? So, see, so I'm going to get screwed now. Oh, it's nice that you can actually get go... Oh, damn. Oh, I got it. All right, good. It's nice that you can actually, like, lasso through, through that uh, skull. If I couldn't do that, I would have lost that that one there. So I can't actually hit the skull, but I can lasso through it. That's nice. 
And I haven't played Stampede in a very long time, so I don't know how the mechanics sort of line up there. Pierce is getting the packaging right was half the work. Yeah, I can imagine. But, I mean, it really paid off, for, I mean, from, from my perspective. I don't know how many you know, orders you've got in. And I hope that this video gets a little bit of coverage and, you know, you get a little more from this one. But, there we go. But, um, the packaging is really just amazing. It's really well done. And, the, you know, the, the, the uh, cassette itself and the label on the cassette. I mean, everything is great. Oh, God, I'm screwed. <laughs> I'm at that, like, danger point now. I said I lost one. I still managed to recover slightly. You really got to pay attention to what's, what's going to speeding in from the, from the back. Because there are some ones that come fast. <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> I missed one there, man. I, I didn't realize that was even a skull there. I thought the, or I thought that was like a, a, a guy. God oh, damn it. All right, 1930. So, so far my best game was my first one. I'm going to try one more time. <clears throat> one more time. Let's see if I can beat my high score from last time. I really want to see if I can do that. I take a little stretch break for a second first. <laughs> so, what do you guys think? If you're watching this after the fact... Please uh, leave a comment and let me know what you think of the game. And I'll put a link in the description to where you can buy it. Yeah, Jason's the game is addicting. I agree. Um, I'll put a link in the description of where, well, an eBay link of where you can buy it. But please let me know in the comments what you think of the game. And if you're not subscribed to the channel and you're watching this thing, please subscribe. Um, like I said, I have a lot of physical TRS-80 games in my collection. Not as not. I don't have all of them. I want to have more. But I do have a lot currently, and I do intend to play through pretty much all of them um, on this channel as part of this thing. What I'm, pro what I'm planning on doing like for the, near, for the relatively near future is alternating streams between um, adventure games and non-adventure games. And the adventure games uh, probably mostly will, will be like more modern games, because I, I think... I don't want to get too crazy with all the retro stuff. I think, you know, maybe I maybe I should, but like I think some people like like a break once in a while and they want something a little bit newer. Um and newer is, is relative because 20 years old is, is newer than 40 years old. But um half the games I do at least are going to be like not adventures and um well the message is not adventures, but older games. Maybe I'll do some there's obviously a bunch of tier adventures also, which I haven't decided where you know if I should do those on let's say TRS-80 time or Adventure Time or, or both, but the bottom line is I'm going to be playing a lot of TRS-80 games, um, and, I, and actually I want to start playing a bunch of Atari 2600 games too. Um, Ryan likes them, and I like them as well. They're, they're awesome games, so maybe we can at some point do a comparison of this and uh, the, the Activision games. So, Softport Adventures are my favorite retro games, Ryan says. Um, Scott likes to say that. Softport Adventures is really a bad game, honestly. Um, I have played it. It's it's pretty bad. It has a bunch of bugs. It's I mean it's not terrible. I mean for the time it was good, but it doesn't really hold up, I suppose. Which is why the Sierra retired it, um, and then they made Legion Shoot Larry as the remake. But the actual softboard game is nothing to, to write home about. Oh no. See that's like that type of situation is, is where you end up losing here. With that when when you get uh, Anyway, the bottom line of what I was saying was is that uh, is that um, I'm going to do a lot more TRS-80 games. So um, if you are a TRS-80 fan and you're not already subscribed to the channel, I I promise you'll see more TRS-80 games streamed here than probably anywhere else on the internet. Cause <laughs> I don't think there's anybody else who does this type of thing. I'm not aware of it, at least. If you do know somebody doing it, then let me know, because I probably want to watch their channel, too. But... Uh, I happen to have a pretty extensive collection just through from collecting for all these years, and 
I, I should have more because unfortunately almost everything that I had from when I was a kid I don't have anymore and that's my fault because at the time I didn't realize like how valuable it would be to hold on to it and I say valuable I don't mean like from a money perspective well, well that too I just didn't realize like about preservation and like stuff like this wouldn't be archived and basically if I didn't save it I would never see it again so I've heard a little my lesson now and that's one of the reasons why I collect you know some, the stuff that I do but unfortunately like I had a lot more stuff that's gone and some of it I'm not sure if it's even been dumped or anything so but it is what it is anyway the bottom line is if you're not subscribed to the channel and you like this sort of thing please subscribe because I will certainly be doing more more like this and I'm doing what, so far pretty good on this on this I don't want to jinx myself but uh I'm almost approaching my high score from last time. You gotta watch those speedy ones. As long as you watch them and you see where they're coming, you have a shot. Oops. As long as you don't miss the roping, too. Here's one card at the bottom. Oh no! Come on. <laughs> and the cows you can't push, so you gotta grab them. See, I couldn't get that. I tried, but there was there was with the cactus in the way. <sighs> Story things are starting to get real here, as they say. <laughs> I got a, I got a life back. That's good. Sorry for not talking so much, but it's 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 like impossible. Oh god. Oh no, I lost. <laughs> Damn it! Damn! Well, I didn't actually completely die, amazingly. I don't know how, but. Damn it! <laughs> ah! The first game was the best one. Ah, oh, man. The first game I did, I got the best score. I got 2,500. Like, I... Ah! Ah! <laughs> Ryan says, I wish there was a way to play Atari games two players online. I went to an emulator that lets you do that, actually. Um, on the online emulator for Atari that lets you play online. I haven't tried it in a very long time. The other thing you could do is, like, there's there's a, a thing I found recently um, called... Uh, what the hell is it called? I don't... <sighs> Matt... I did it with Matt that time when we played some of these games. There's a way to share your, your keyboard or your joystick with another player on the internet, just generically. And so I did that uh, a couple times, and... Uh, oh, man. I want to play one more time. <laughs> I wasn't... I mean, it's only been 42 minutes. I want to play one more time. Here's just get your heart going. It sure does. And Ryan says dragster or fishing deer we cool play live. Yeah, Ryan, we should we should we should do that one time. Um, I know you're not on Facebook. I sent you a try to send you an invite on there, but let's try to connect offline, and this way we can we can do something like that. I'm gonna try one more time. Oh, man, I'm frustrated. I, how could my first game be the best game? That's not fair. Once you get start to screw up, you're dead. <laughs> you're dead. All right, this will be the last game, regardless if I beat my high score or if I completely blow it. I think it'll be the last game for this stream because it just gets repetitive for people to watch, you know, the same game over and over again. It's fun for me to play, but uh, I don't want the stream to be too long. But again, like, please uh, let it, let me know. If you're watching now, let me know what you think. And if you're watching later, let me know in the comments what you think. Give the video a like, whether you're watching now or watching later. It helps get more attention to the videos. And uh, subscribe if you've not done so. And uh, yeah, this is this is good. I am I am happy with this game. I am quite happy. Doesn't take too much to make me happy, I guess. But uh, a good old TRS eighty game will definitely be, be one of the things it does. I had uh, TRS eighty model one, three, and four back in the day. I never had a Coco. Um, I have some Coco games now, but back in the day I never had a Coco. I feel like that was like almost a different uh, group of people that had those, as opposed to the people that had the regular, quote unquote, regular TRS-80 models. Uh, the Model 2 like was like a business machine that was like super expensive, but most people had the Model 
one and one pretty much that I knew at the time. And then later on, that Coco came out. Oh god, I'm, I'm already blowing it, aren't I? I'm already messing up. Excuse me. This is only the beginning of the game. You know, this reminds me of also reminds me of uh, like if you ever played Nintendo Game and Watch. Um. It starts off slow, and you think, oh, this is going to be easy, I could do this, and then all of a sudden it starts going, like, super hyper speed, and then you, like, lose the game, like, really fast, and that's what keeps happening to me here, like, I could do these beginning levels, and then when it gets to the later level, I just fall apart. It just gets really hard. But I, at least the first game, I got a respectable score, according to the author, I... I you know, I don't know why I had some good mojo that first game or something. Oh, wow, I was able to get that guy. Okay, good. I thought I was going to not be able to get him because of the cactus, but it gave me a break. I keep on missing, which is not good. I said cactus again. The skulls are the ones getting me here. So who here would play this game? I'm curious. Actually, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't embarrass you in front of the author, but... Oh, man, that was lucky. No! Oh, no, I messed up. This is not going to be a winner. <laughs> I let two cows go at the bottom there. I didn't mean to do that. I just... Uh, I, just missed, I just missed on the top for some reason. And then I just blew it. It's still possible to recover, just very unlikely. Once you, like, blow it like that, you're pretty much done. And once you blow it like that, you're really done. Alright, it's not going to be my last game. I'll play one more. That was, a, that was, that game was, that was not, <laughs> that was not a good game. <laughs> I'll try one more time. One more time. One more time. Here we go. Started good with 50 points. So it's 50 points for a bull, or a steer, as the game calls it, and 10 points for a cow. Hey yeah, guys, hit, please, if you're in the stream, hit like if you haven't done so. Like I said, it does it does good uh, good things, supposedly, for the ability for people to see this later on. And four hours later, Jay says, one more time. It, it might happen, but like... <laughs> <laughs> the, the problem is I had to do really well the first game. I didn't, uh, I didn't, uh, I should have, like, like done poorly the first game, then I'd be happy with, like, a 1900, but if I get a 2500, then I'm, like, I can't, like, end the stream with, like, a poor, bad score. It just, just, you know, it just sticks in my craw. Come on. Come on, you bastard cows. When you're in the zone of this thing, it feels really good. And when you're not in the zone, it feels really bad. That's basically the, the experience here. It's like they're, they're playing with me right now. Ryan says, I always like. I appreciate that, Ryan. You're also liked. The bull just like secret stands there. He's like, he's like, come get me, brother. You want to try to get me? You're going to have to be serious Roper. I wonder if Mr. Roper from Three's Company would play this game. He was a Roper. And I wonder how Mr. Furley would do. Right now I'm getting silly. Start, I'm starting to get silly talk. That means I'm, I'm playing for too long. I'm getting delirious. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Let's go. Uh-oh. I like how sometimes you can get more than one at a time. That's that makes it a little bit easier. It's helpful. But yeah, it's just starting to pick up speed here now. I, I don't even have a thousand points. I think I guess what once you get a thousand points, I think is when it really starts to speed up. I think that's what it seems like.
Gabriel's Grotto says, sorry, you're still here. It's okay. It's okay that you're still here. You have to apologize for being here. <laughs> I'm kidding. Alright, now I'm sure it's going to start going super fast. Oh, that was that was lucky that I was able to get, I mean, that was, that was skill. That I was able to get in underneath that thing. That was good. Those skulls are bad. Skulls are bad. They're scary. Oh no. I'm not talking anymore. <laughs> Just playing. Just like I gotta, I gotta like get, get, not screw this up again. Yeah, Ryan Cowboy. Take that. Take that, cows. Now we're doing. Now we're talking, man. <laughs> Damn, lost that one. Lost two, lost three, lost four. Still alive. Nah, I'm done now. I beat my Escorio! Take that game! Nah, damn. <laughs> like it's, it's like it's slowing down a little bit. Like I think some some lag or something. Yeah, yeah, three thousand, baby. We're talking. Just rack up the points. <laughs> oh my god. I got screwed. Damn. <laughs> oh, 3,660. <laughs> Man, my eyes were tearing there. Oh man, I got messed up at the end. That that skull was the wrong spot. Woo! <laughs> Jesus, one more time. No, that's it. There's no way I could beat that. <laughs> what else going on here? Gamers Grotto says, "Are oh, you guys beat rises? You beat your score. Piers are nice. I Piers guys, I stream all the FMV adventure games. We shall read via live stream. Sherlock Holmes, I mean. Oh man. Oh my goodness. All right, man. Well, this guys, hope you enjoy. This was round up." Again, if, you, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. If you didn't like it, like. Go out and buy this game. I'm going to put a link to it in the channel at the, uh, the bottom of the screen. Oh, you guys are saying one more? <laughs>
<laughs> I don't know if I can. My arms feel like jelly right now, and I didn't even like freaking like use my arms. <laughs> Just my hands. I want to see. I, I want to see. Uh, I want to see Peter come out here and do better than thirty six sixty. If he can beat my score, then I'll do it again. <laughs> One more. No, I'm not doing it. You know what's going to happen the next one? If I do one more and get like z like 500 points, and then it's going, oh, i got to do one more again, and get one more again, one more again. That's a very respectable score. I'm leaving it there right now. Again, that's Roundup for TRS-80. Check out the game. Support the makers of uh, great uh, new TRS-80 games. Support, check out the TRS-80 Trash Talk podcast. I'll try to link to that as well if I can find a link to it. Pierce is go out on top. I totally agree. I'm going to go out on top with 3660 score. I see there is a fifth digit there, so I guess it's possible to get over 10,000, but I'm not sure I'm going to do that anytime in the near future. So, great game. I had a great time. Thank you for making it. Great price. Again, guys, thanks everyone for, for being here. Thanks, Peter, for showing up at the right time. Thanks, Jay. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks, Scott. Thanks, Jeremy. Uh, who else was here? Um, was that it? Was that all the talkers? Usually there's a couple more talkers on the stream. I think that was it for today. So uh, thanks everyone for being here. Rise, we need to figure out Atari Multi. We will definitely do that at some point. Thank you, Jay. Take care as well. And uh, we'll do this again soon. So make sure you're subscribed so you can see the next one. Have a good night, everybody. Peace out.